When I found a camera, I started documenting these guys who were really good, states JR, after finding a camera in a metro station in, two, in the year 2000. His street art life completely turned around. JR still went out with his crew, but he had gave up aerosol cans and this is one of JR's most recent artwork on October 8, 2017. JR organizes a giant picnic on both sides of the fence of the United States and Mexico. Kikito, his family, and hundreds of guests come from the U.S. and Mexico to share a meal together. People gather around the eyes of a, of a dreamer eating the same food, sharing the same water, enjoying the same music. Half of the band on each side, half in Mexico, half in the United States. The wall was forgotten for a few minutes. JR earned fame beyond the streets in, in the wake of protests and wreaths that rocked Christian servants in 2005. The civic unrest broke out after two teens were electrified by in the power substantial, apparently having to deal with the police. He used the popularity to return to the community of his Portraits of Generation project. He's engaged a fisheye lens to shoot ultra close up and suburban street punks making funny faces. He posted his expansion prints through the districts of Paris and soon received support from the local government. He had put a warm human face on a controversial issue and the community embraced it with, gen with great enthusiasm. The early part of JR's life is mostly unknown. His mother was, a, was Tunisian, his father was Eastern Europe. Nothing else is known about his childhood. So we'll skip ahead 14, 15 years. Since a very early stage of his life, he could already be seen demonstrating his skills in murals of Paris. At this, at this stage of his life, he would call himself Phase 3 instead of JR. One of his most recent artwork of JR is in the city of Tecate which is an hour east-west of San Diego, a, is a monumental photograph of Kikito, a one-year-old child <clears throat> is placed on a special place just behind the border fence with California in the border of the United States and Mexico. <clears throat> Seen from the American side, the child seems to be peeking over the fence as if from the inside of the crib getting ready to crawl towards something that's got his interest. This art is apparently in reference to Trump's effort to eliminate the DACA program, which protects children of undocumented immigrants from being deported. In, tw in 2007, with the help of Marco, he named his project Face to Face, the biggest illegal exhibition ever. J.R. posts huge portraits of Israelis and Palestinians face to face in eight Palestine and Israel cities. The Wrinkles of the City, a huge moral installation in Ahavana, undertaking for Ahavana, for which J.R. and Carla photographed and recorded 25 senior citizens who have lived through the Cuban Revolution and stencils for his new used automatic camera, testing every kind of black and white film he could. While his friends tagged on the streets, JR shot their portraits, sharing the same old risk and adventures, but with new format, all, his, all of his own. A border patrol agent had already warned JR that this was an illegal act and more likely he was to be arrested with whoever attended to the picnic. However, that day, the Border Patrol agents joined the picnic. My name is JR. I like to call myself an artist. 
There's two ways of thinking about my work. The easy way is just I'm papering black and white images of work. But I believe my work is about connecting people. For me, it's the power of bringing people together. I wanted to do art projects with the community. Now, I realized that the community wanted to do art projects even more than I wanted. And started thinking, why don't I take myself out of the equation and let them do it? So the wish was pretty simple. is you just put up a website and you can send us your photo. But whatever you believe in or whatever you want to fight for, we'll send you back your photo in large format wherever you are in the world. Every day I see roles bleeding around the world. The project went much further than the places have been, and that shows the power of art. And the photo book is the magic of it. We are to four training in the photo book Josh, Basil, Jamie, and I. The first is like this. We are using two of these tracks to cover 30 cities around America. We're just a tool for people that want to send a positive message. Most of the truck is ready and running. Anyone can come. Wait for the back. That's a screen. Take a picture. Type your information. No matter what the minute or so, it prints on the side. Three or four feet. No one is used to seeing their faces so good. Oh yeah, there's my funny thing for you. The truck has this magic about bringing photography back to the print. And then the posters go to the wall. You use wallpaper glue, put them up, and that's it. We've printed more than 300,000 faces already, and we sent them to more than 130 countries. It's the people that project. We don't decide a message. They can be political, to bring attention to issues. I love the idea of using photography to promote change. This specific project is to raise awareness about the dreamers situation. Inside Out is bringing the opportunity for dreamers like myself, a person that came here at a young age to have a better future, to come out and give a face to the issue when people drive by. Born in France on February 22, 1983, J.R. is a French photographer and artist whose identity is unconfirmed. Starting his career in a graffiti while then continuing to photographic and illustrating his image in murals. J.R. has created two new images public works in celebrating the upcoming Olympic Games in Rio of the Janeiro and two enormous athletes who decorate the city's urban landscape, evoking the spirit of the games. Dominates the wall and is the work of French artist J.R. and is located near the Tecate border crossing in Baja California. This is the first piece by the French artist in Mexican territory and in his words is the result of a dream he had over a year ago. Upon arriving in Tecate, a local family opened the doors of their home to him and allowed him to work in their garden. At the time, his purpose was not yet clear to him, but he saw a picture of a one-year-old baby which finally inspired him. J.R. soon knew how this would be translated to the border. This installation joins several artistic interventions that have been made along the wall. In January, a group of Japanese artists calling themselves Chimpong built a treehouse on the border in Colonia Libertad, one of the oldest neighborhoods in Tijuana. That same month, artist Ana Teresa Fernandez erased the border wall by painting a section of it stretching out into the ocean in azure blue. In addition, the local artist and director of the Tijuana House of Art, La Casa del Tunnel, Enrique Chu, has been working for more than a year on what he calls the mural of the Brotherhood, inviting anyone wanting to write positive messages of brotherhood to do so along one section of the wall. Jean Rene J.R. exhibits freely in streets of the world, catching the attention of people who are not typically museum visitors. <laughs>